Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are outside doing a ton of outdoor cleaning and yard work today in preparation for an upcoming DIY patio makeover. So I thought it would be really fun to take you along and show you everything that we're gonna be doing in preparation for that. We recently got back from Florida and I made a huge mistake and completely forgot to hire someone to take care of our front porch area and our plants while we were gone. So it's a hot mess and it needs some help. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you and then we're just gonna get started. This is what our back patio is looking like right now. Clearly a hot mess. I'm hoping that we'll have enough time and daylight today to be able to at least remove all of these dead plants and planters and pick the weeds, get things a little bit cleaned up in preparation for the full patio makeover that is coming. But before we can do that, we have to work on the front porch area and around the yard. So it's definitely not the worst it's ever been, but it's not the best either. Our basil down here and rosemary over there made it. And I don't even remember what kind of plant this is, but it's doing decent. There are some leaves that are struggling, but for the most part, I'm happy with it. But our hanging plant up here was a spring plant anyway, so it is not a summer bloom and needs to be replaced. And then also we had some rosemary over here and some basil and marigolds, I think, over there, and they did not make it. There's an overhang right here, so I think what happened is rain can't get to those to water them but it did get to these ones and that's why they are still alive so we did pick up some new plants to repot in here and a new hanging plant for up here also over here we had some marigolds potted in this planter next to the front door and of course those did not make it so we have a new plant for that we also bought a power washer finally so i'm going to be able to power wash the stairs and the sidewalk area here and also this little layering rug because it's really dirty and it needs some help. If you watched our front porch makeover on a budget, I scrubbed this with a dish soap, water, and baking soda mixture with my hands. I hand scrubbed our steps. And while it did make a little bit of a difference, it's just not the same as a power washer could do. So we're gonna be power washing today. Also power washing the door, the sides of the house, weeding in this front flower bed there's tons of weeds in here that need to be picked and then Derek's gonna do some edging cutting the grass and I think trimming up these hedges for us so we're gonna get started on that I know the camera is so forgiving the siding on our house was actually looking really dirty it took a beating over this past winter season and all of the rain that we've had lately I was just really excited to go ahead and power wash the siding as well as our front steps and that front walkway and so of course before I could do that I needed to clear out this space which was perfectly fine with me because then I could start with a blank canvas and that's going to make this transformation even more satisfying this is our new power washer it is a craftsman gas powered pressure washer it has 3300 psi and 2.5 gpm i think that means it's supposed to be powerful enough to wash these steps and the siding so we're going to put it to the test now i haven't used it yet but i'm really excited derek got it all put together and said that it worked really well when he was testing it out I have got to tell you guys, this was a lot harder than it looked. I thought this was going to be relatively easy and that basically I just have to point this little nozzle where I wanted things to get clean and it would just spray off, but that sprayer was heavy on its own, but it also had quite a kickback, so keeping control of it took a little bit of getting used to, but once I got the hang of it, it was so satisfying to watch these steps and walkway come clean. I did get used to it in 
enough to be able to get everything cleaned off the way that I was hoping and to be honest all of that concrete looks like brand new after all of this dried but I will say that as I got close to the edges of the walkway I just did not have enough control over that thing or really the skill set necessary to do this well and I was just spraying up dirt and mulch everywhere so I found myself having to go back and rewash things that I had already cleaned previously but eventually I got it all done and I was really happy with it. Okay, power washing is hard. It is a skill that I definitely don't have. I just created chaos in the mulch in our flower beds, but it looks a whole lot better. I think that those little spots there are oil spots, so we'll need to get like a specific type of cleaner to clean them up. But other than that, the siding is all washed and the sidewalk and the steps are looking great it is so crazy to see the difference between you can see here where the sidewalk ends and our driveway begins it's just it's insane seeing the difference it looks so much better but i did create a huge mess so i think i'm gonna have derek get our gardening metal rake and kind of even out the mulch in the flower beds while i work on power washing our bench and that rug that was out there but overall i'm happy with my first attempt do you guys ever buy something new for yourself and you feel like a kid with a new toy, like you just can't put it down, you're looking for excuses and reasons to wear it or use it or look at it? That's exactly how I was feeling with this power washer. Even though the rug and the bench clearly needed to be cleaned off and the power washer did a very good, very efficient job, I still felt like I was just looking for excuses to use it, both on camera and off camera, I was outside for like five hours just finding things to spray with this power washer and other things to clean up and I was so happy with this purchase. I don't know why I put it off for so long because it really did get all of these things looking like brand new. Look at this. You can really see the difference here on this back panel from what was power washed and what wasn't. And then of course the seat here is power washed and then as you go over this hasn't been yet, but how crazy powerful is this thing? I just think it's so cool and also a little gross because I had no idea that the bench was that dirty. It sits out in all seasons, so it makes sense. I mean, it's out in extreme heat and extreme cold and rain and all of that stuff, but I honestly thought that it had just been burned, like the metal had been burned from the sun, so it's a little bit unsettling to know that it's actually dirt that we've been sitting on. While I was still in a cleaning mode, I wanted to go ahead and tackle this storm door and the entire front door area, which was clearly just a wreck. And I'm going to be using the Love Meg Multi-Surface Spray. My friend Megan recently launched this and I'm just so proud of her and excited for her. I cannot believe that she made her own cleaning product and that she launched it out to the world for all of us to love and enjoy. I just think that is so incredible and interesting inspirational and just proof that anyone can do anything that they put their mind to and I'm just so thankful for her example. But anyway, I did use this on my storm door, the windows next to my front door, the front door itself and all of the trim surrounding it and then also to clean off some of my outdoor planters and tables and things like that. And I have to say, I was shocked at how well this worked on my storm door and windows. I honestly wasn't expecting it because most multi-surface sprays don't really work that well on those types of surfaces, but this one is a true multi-surface spray. It worked so well, even better than some of my glass cleaners if I'm being honest, and I was just thoroughly impressed. I'm going to show you guys some before and afters, like I said, and you are going to be able to see it for yourself. It was just incredible. It cleaned everything off of here. It dried to a streak-free finish and I absolutely loved it. I also used it on my outdoor planters and side tables. My planters have a little hole for drainage in the bottom and I don't have a collection plate underneath of them so water and soil drip onto the tables that they're standing on and then that stains them and usually every so often I'll just have to spray a fresh coat of paint to get rid of those stains but I was really happy that this spray took care of all of that without me having to spray anything. It got 
got rid of all of those soil stains and the rings around it and I was really happy with that. So overall, I would definitely recommend this cleaner, but I would love to know your thoughts. Did you purchase it for yourself? Are you loving it as much as I am? And what are your favorite things to clean with the Love Meg multi-surface spray? Whew, I'm so out of breath. It's so hot out here that even like drinking water, trying to stay hydrated, it's just, it's so hot. It's hard work out here, but I just went to fill our bird feeders and realized that we're out of the little things that go in here, which is such a bummer. We're gonna have to head out to Lowe's tonight and get some more or something because I don't like being out of it. I like the bird feeders always being full and waking up with the birds chirping right outside of my window every morning. It's just, it's lovely. So we're definitely gonna go pick up some more of that, but I didn't wanna wait for that before I started putting everything back together because now that everything's power washed and the house is clean and I had wiped down our storm door and all the windows, I'm just ready to put it all back and have it looking pretty. So I did pick up some plants to replace the dead ones. I'll turn the camera around and show you what we got. I'm really excited about them. They're looking a little sad right now because it's been so hot today and they need to be watered. So forgive that, but I am gonna get them watered as soon as I put everything back together. So I got these little potted tomato plants. They're tiny, sweet, tomatoes and they are so good we've picked a couple of ripe ones off already and they are just delicious but i got these to go in those green and black spray painted planters and my idea is that i'll just lift this black part out and just drop it right into those so i don't have to actually repot them or anything and i'll be able to keep this little structure intact and then I'll be able to reuse these beige tan colored ones for something else and then these are the hanging plants we got and I swear they are absolutely beautiful such a wonderful color they just make me so happy looking at them and I feel like they are a good summer and fall color and they should bloom through summer and fall so we won't have to replace them as long as I can keep them alive but I got one for the like little hanging shepherd's post and then I got another one back there and my idea for that one is to snip off the hanging portion and just drop it into that black planter that we had next to our front door so they will kind of bring that color throughout the entire setup and hopefully be super low maintenance for us and then also you know with the basil that we already have out there and the rosemary and now these tomatoes i just feel like these tomatoes will be perfect to do like a cucumber tomato basil salad like a cold salad during the summertime so i hope that i can keep these alive i hope they produce a lot of fruit for us because they're just so pretty and i'm really excited about them You guys are probably watching this and just laughing at me because I totally disassembled this area thinking that I was going to switch it up and go with a different look, but when we started putting everything back together, I just wanted it put back together the way that it was before because I really loved that setup. When we did our 2021 front porch makeover on a budget, I was just really happy and content with what I was able to come up with and the vision that I brought to life and it makes me want to spend time out here. I feel proud when I look at it and happy and peaceful when I look at it and so what's that old saying? Don't fix what ain't broken or something like that. It just wasn't broken. I didn't feel like I needed to fix anything and I wanted to put it all back exactly how it was before because it just makes my heart so happy and makes my soul smile when I look at it. I hope that you all have a space in your home that makes you feel this exact same way and that just brings you so much peace and joy and happiness.
it's starting to look pretty again. I'm so happy with these orange colored flowers. They're just absolutely gorgeous and they are the perfect pop of color in this space. These little planters did not nestle down in there so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to get bigger pots for them or maybe move them into the pots they already came from or if I'm going to replant them into there. So I just left them like that for now until I decide what I wanna do, but it's so nice to have this space put back together and looking nice and fresh again. You can really see now too the sidewalk dried, so you can really see how just beautiful it is after power washing. It is a night and day difference. The concrete looks almost white now. It is just, I'm so glad we did that. But now Derek is going to trim up our bushes for us and then also along the side of the house here we just have never done anything with it really and it's a mess obviously so I think what we're gonna do is pull all of the weeds out and obviously dump these old dead plants and we got some plants that are like this one right here this right here and we're going to space them out in there and plant them in there we have one here and also one over here I think you can probably see the leaves peeking through I don't know if we just planted it too deep or what happened here but it just did not grow the same as the other one did I mean it's clearly still growing and budding but it just hasn't quite flourished the same way so we're gonna go through this season and see if it will come to life and if not we'll probably end up digging it up and replanting it but those are the same types of plants we have for the side of the house so we're gonna start weeding these flower beds getting all of that cleaned up and then plant those plants this little flower bed over on the side of our house has just been an absolute mess the entire time that we've lived here. We've never really done anything with it, so I was happy to finally be tackling this small project. It really was such a small, quick thing to do, but it made such a huge impact, and we're happy that we finally allocated some funds and some time to getting it done. I went ahead and cleared off this area and then picked out all of the weeds that I could get and all of that clothes over that was grown over in here but I was so thankful that Derek went ahead and planted everything for me. I don't know what it is but ever since I had my youngest daughter I have some sensory issues that I had never experienced before in my entire life. For example, I hate getting dirt underneath of my fingernails but especially gardening and getting dirt packed underneath of them. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. I cannot deal with it at all and so I I was glad to just put these all in place and then let Derek get them into the ground for me. And for those of you who are going to comment and say, get myself some gardening gloves, absolutely not. I hate the feeling of gloves on my hands and my fingertips especially, which is why you never see me using them in any of my cleaning videos or when I'm doing yard work or anything like that. I just can't stand it. It really makes my skin crawl and it's just the worst feeling. Even fingernail polish on my fingers nails I can't do it it makes me feel like my fingernails are suffocating and any time that I try to paint them the paint hasn't even dried yet and I'm already taking it off because I just can't leave it there but I don't have that same problem with my toenails so I know that's a little bit strange and way off topic so I'm so sorry about that very off topic weird little rant there that probably made me seem so crazy but it's just how I experience the world I guess please somebody tell me that I am not alone it's not perfect I think we need probably some more mulch in here but Derek did a great job planting these I'm so thankful that he went ahead and did that for me and I think they look great I cannot wait until they grow some more and they start mounding and it it means they'll like kind of blossom out into almost like a little bush so they'll hide this like strip of concrete here they'll fill out the space more and it'll just be beautiful so I can't wait for that I don't think it'll happen this season probably next season but still I'm just really happy that we finally made time for this time for Derek to tame these hedges 
It'll be their first trimming of the entire season for 2021. I'm, I'm so excited to like get them back into shape and just have it complete this space and look even better. I'm so thankful to Derek for doing this. It is 8 p.m. right now, so I need to take the girls in and get showers and baths, get them ready for bed, but he is going to clean up all of these clippings down here, and we're gonna be done for today. I was really hoping that we could get around to the back of the house, but it was just so hot. There was a lot more to do than I had initially thought, so we're just gonna have to pick up and get some of that done tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next day. We're back at it again. It's actually like 5.30 p.m. right now because it has just been so hot today. There was no way we were gonna be able to come out in like the middle of the day. It's like 91 degrees right now at 5.30. So it's still very hot, but we have a ton of stuff that we got we need to get done. So we can't keep waiting. We did go to Walmart this morning and got some of that bird food that I was talking about. And then we also picked up some pathway lights because the ones that we currently have have never worked since we've lived in this house. And so it's just time to get them out of here and replace them. And then Derek is going to cut the grass, do some edging. We're gonna try and pull some shrubs away from where our mailbox is. We've just got a bunch of odds and ends that we need to do. So we're gonna start doing that. I'm gonna turn the camera around though and show you what we got and what the plan is and then we're gonna get working. So we have these little bird food cake things. I don't even know what, what they are, but they go in these parts of the bird feeders. So we got a whole box of them and I brought four out here and then we also got three boxes of these cracker, crackle ball pathway lighting sets. There's six in each one and we will probably end up using two out here and one in the back patio whenever we do that makeover, but we just wanted to get them all at one time. So those are going to replace these things down here. 
these look like they're more heavy duty and like better quality but literally as long as we've lived here they've never worked they're not solar powered so they have like a wire that's buried underneath and I think it shorted out or something from being stuck in the weather because they just don't work they've never worked so we're gonna replace them with these solar powered ones and hope that they work better and longer so wish us luck with being able to dig out that wire and figure out what to do with it like I said it was around 5 30 in the evening and it was still so hot it was 91 degrees with a real feel of like 103 if I remember correctly so I wanted to go ahead and get all of these bird food cakes into the bird feeders so that they wouldn't melt away and not be able to be used the birds in our area absolutely love these things and they make less of a mess than regular loose bird food so I'm always happy to get them but once I did that I went ahead and started pulling up all of the walkway lights that we had here and at first as you could see I thought that I had to twist them up but eventually I realized that they actually just pulled out of the ground they had little stakes in them and they could just be pulled up really easily so I felt a little bit silly for doing extra work for no reason. They also were not solar powered. There was a plug that was buried in the flower bed and pinned down. So Derek did have to pull that up for me because it was a bit difficult to get out of the ground. But once we got it out, we were happy to have them gone. They just weren't functional anymore. As long as we've lived here, they haven't worked. And so we wanted to replace them with some solar powered lights. We found these six packs at Walmart for, I think they were $12 super affordable they're really pretty like a shattered glass look on top these little orbs and the solar panel part is inside of that glass orb so it's not an eyesore and that's exactly what we were looking for they were super easy to assemble and we decided to put them one long leg length between each of them I guess you could say. Derek just stood on one side and kind of stretched his legs as far as they would go and every time he took a step is where we put a light and then on the opposite side we just did that in the gaps from the other side. So you can see them from the street. You can see all of the lights lit up at night. They are so pretty and we were just really happy with how this turned out. We did get three six pack boxes of these we only ended up using two in the front flower beds but we do plan to use the last one in our back patio and we are actually almost finished filming the back patio makeover while i am doing the voiceover for this video so that should be the next upload that you guys see and i am so excited i can't wait to share it with you make sure you have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss when that video uploads before Derek starts cutting the grass, we're also going to try to pull out the shrub. We have a tether. And we're going to try and pull it out with the car. And this one also, I'm not sure if we'll be able to pull that or if it needs to be dug out. But this is just a hot mess. We've never liked it. It doesn't make any sense. And we just want to get it gone and just have lawn here. So we're going to try and do that before Derek starts mowing. What you are seeing is actually our second attempt at pulling this bush out. The first time, I don't know if I just didn't have the tether tight enough or what it was, but it actually snapped it and we couldn't get the bush out. But this second time around, it was so satisfying. The car was able to pull that bush right out of the ground, roots and all, and we could drag it away from this area. The rest of what was in here clearly did not need to be tethered. Derek just went ahead with our shovel and dug everything up. And then all of the root system that was left, he just pulled the roots out of the ground to make sure that we were getting everything we could so that nothing was going to grow back. We really wanted to get this area as cleaned up as possible because Derek does want to reseed our lawn in the fall to have some healthy grass next season. I know that this looks terrible now because it's just this big patch of dirt and some random weeds but Derek really wants to reseed our lawn this fall so hopefully by next summer all of this will be grown over with new grass. But either way, I think it looks a ton better than when it had that random shrub there and just a bunch of random plants. There was really no rhyme or reason and none of them complemented each other and it wasn't 
full enough. It was just scattered random plants. So anyway, I think it looks a whole lot better, but Derek has his mower out now and he's eager to start mowing the grass. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and let you guys watch that for a couple seconds. dirt being kicked up is exactly why we want to reseed the lawn. Derek especially wants to reseed it. There are just these dirt patches all throughout our lawn and it's really just weeds and not even grass that we have at this point or at least that's what we feel like and so he just wants to be rid of all of it and kind of start fresh and reseed everything so that we can have a healthy, luscious, beautiful lawn. Every time that we drive through a neighborhood, the one thing that I I notice is front porches. I have had a dream ever since I was a little girl to have a wraparound porch on my forever home and so I can appreciate a good front porch. But the one thing that Derek always notices is the lawn. He can definitely appreciate a happy, luscious, beautiful lawn and he desperately wants one for our home. So I think we are going to try for that for next season or maybe the season after but I know he will appreciate it when he can do the trimming and the edging and mow the lawn and not just have a dust storm every single time because that is what we currently have going on and it can be quite frustrating and also it really sucks for our shins and our eyes. Finally, I can get back here to what I've been wanting to do, which is get all of this patio cleaned up. I think I'm going to bring the yard waste bin out and just dump all of these overgrown flower pots and then get this randomness out of the way. I need to take a photo of this right here, the cover and then the patio furniture underneath because we are going to be selling that and replacing it. And then Derek needs to take the ladder out of the way for me and I'm gonna start pulling some of these weeds and everything and just try to get it just cleaned up so that when we start our patio makeover tomorrow, it won't be such a big task and we can kind of just jump right into it. Of course, I started by pulling over our yard waste trash bin and emptying all of these dead plants into it. I completely covered our back patio with potted plants last year and I loved it at first. I thought it was so beautiful and it was such a nice space to relax in, but it quickly became overwhelming because if I'm being honest, our lifestyle and my capabilities really are just not conducive to having a bunch of live plants around. They all died before the end of the summer. Some of them I overwatered, some of them I underwatered, some of them shouldn't have been in that much sunshine because we don't have a covered patio area and it was just a hot mess. So this patio makeover is going to be a bit different. I did not use quite so many plants this year but it still turned out amazing and I'm really excited to share that with you. I just wanted to kind of get this space cleaned up so that I had a good starting point because the day after we finished filming this video we started filming that patio makeover. So I wanted to get all of the dead plants out of the way, all of the weeds, and just everything really that was in here and get the space cleaned up and cleared away. In our upcoming patio makeover, I did finally paint our patio pavers. If you missed last year's video, we extended our patio. We almost doubled it in size and we reused our old pavers to save money, but that meant half of the patio looked like old pavers and half of it looked like new pavers. And the number one question on that video or the number one comment still that I get to this day is why didn't you paint the pavers and the answer was simple it just was not in our budget last year. It's pretty expensive to do that and sometimes you just have to pace yourself. So we saved up for it all winter long and finally we were able to paint the entire space this year. I also revamped our patio bar and extended it into kind of an L 
shape so that it will actually have a seating area and we'll be able to use it to eat and serve food. We got rid of our old patio table and chairs. We sold it on Facebook Marketplace to offset the cost of the entire makeover. And we found some new lounge patio furniture on clearance, a killer deal at Target. And so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I think this setup is so nice and I'm really excited about it. I love spending time outside by myself and with my family and our patio is just much more functional and suits our needs better after this most recent makeover. So I'm excited to bring you guys along on the journey. I hope that you're excited as well. I know the DIY makeovers are the most viewed videos on my channel and actually a lot of you found me through last year's patio makeover. So it's going to be so fun to do a part two and revamp it for 2021. And I really hope that you guys enjoy that transformation. It's definitely not perfect, but it's a much better starting point for our makeover than the mess that was here before. We got most of the weeds up. Some of them are still stuck in there, but we are going to be power washing and probably painting the pavers in the makeover. So I'm sure the power washer will blast those leftover weeds right away. I am going to let this sit out overnight and just kind of dry up and then tomorrow I'll wash it down and take some better pictures so I can list it on Facebook Marketplace. All of those plants and everything is out of the way and I'm feeling good. I'm so excited to change up this space again and make it just a little more functional for our family this summer. Okay, I am a sweaty troll, but you're just gonna have to overlook that because that's what happens when you're outside doing yard work in extreme heat. But anyway, this is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed and that you got a ton of motivation to tackle some outdoor projects or some yard work that you might have been putting off recently. I'm so happy to finally have our front porch area back to presentable and looking beautiful. I'm so excited for those new lights that we put up on our pathway. I just think they're going to look so pretty at nighttime. And I'm especially excited to have our patio to a decent starting point for this makeover that we're going to be doing. I can't wait to start it now. I'm just so excited, but I hope you guys are excited too. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads especially these makeovers that I've got coming at you very soon. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one.